All right, we are now in Dubai Airport. We just landed, really excited to be here. We were just on an Emirates A380 direct from LA to Dubai. It was over a 16-hour flight. I enjoyed it, though. I love air long airplane rides, but here we are in the beautiful, beautiful uh, Dubai Airport. Absolutely stunning. Really excited to be here. We have six different hotels booked and eight nights all Marriott's. Welcome to Dubai. Just arrived to the JW Marriott here is check-in. We're just about ready to check in. Really, really excited. This hotel actually has two huge towers. At one point it was the tallest hotel in the world. Uh, really excited to be back. Okay, we just checked in here at the JW Marriott Marquis Dubai. We are all the way up on the 63rd floor. It was an incredibly fast elevator ride. Absolutely amazing. As you can see, even this hallway, absolutely spacious. As you look over here, uh, this is just a normal standard room. Uh, we're here in 6310. Uh, got my room key. We're gonna go ahead and activate this and we're gonna come on in. So these rooms are energy efficient. So we do have to insert that key card here in the little spot. But welcome in to the JW Marriott. So actually, let's just start with the room right away because uh, the room is absolutely really, really nice. We got a lot of wood going on in here. Um, the hotel is a, it's a little, little, little bit dated, but they've kept the style up very nicely. It still feels very luxurious, very, very nice. We've got two beds in here. This is the twin twin room. This hotel does not have double beds. Uh, the rooms with the two beds, they're all the same uh, size. It's about four feet across, so it really is meant for just one single person. Got some really nice lights, huge headboard. I like how it's built into the wall, even above the ceiling. I like the structure of it and the different lights. Very, very nice. We've got two nice little uh, couches here. Really, really comfortable. Um, it looks like as well, uh, we have like a little touch pin pad here. Uh, that actually controls all kind of different uh, lighting functions in the room. Uh, so it looks like we can control the fan speed. Uh, we can control the master bedroom lights, things like that. There we go. So a lot of different options on there, which is very, very high tech, nice feature in a five star hotel. Great. So over here, we've got uh, a nice big work desk. Um, this really is kind of a uh, business kind of hotel for business travelers. So they've got a nice big desk here, uh, plenty of charging ports, uh, as well as lots of nice uh, pull-out drawers, nice chair. TV's kind of a little bit in the corner here, and then it's really hard to see tonight, but we actually have a full-on view of the Burj Khalifa from our room um, in downtown Dubai. That's a very, 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 very nice view. Okay, now let's go check out the bathroom, because the bathroom even in a very standard room like ours is absolutely phenomenal. So follow me this way. So the bathroom, it has like a similar barn door, kind of like some Spring Hill Suites have with Marriott, um, but it's very nice, very high quality wood. Uh, when we come into the bathroom, it is absolutely enormous, big. We have a huge mirror here, very nice lighting around the mirror, lots of nice wood features. They really went over overwhelming with, we got towels, water, nice granite. Uh, we even have a standalone tub. That's uh, not always that common to have one of these, especially everything is very clean. Um, we do have a separate shower area and this one does have the rainfall shower as well, which I think should be standard at all luxury hotels, uh, as well as a very nice, huge open toilet area. It's very nice. Great. So now we're gonna go, we also have a rope here. We're also going to now look at the amenities in the cabinets. So we've got one cabinet here, got some slippers, which is amazing because every luxury hotel in my opinion should have slippers. We have one extra rope in here. Um, so the room does come with two robes. We've got some storage things here. I'm not sure what's going on here. It looks like a hair dryer and something else. <laughs> looks like this is a JW Marriott little blanket. I think that's a prayer towel or a prayer towel. OK, 
Okay. So then we come on over here. We got a lot of nice hangers to store stuff up in. Uh, we got the built-in safe right down here. And then the room does have a coffee maker as well. Uh, we've got a nice little Illy coffee machine here uh, with the cups and a couple extra water bottles and all kinds of little coffee creamers and things. And then down below, looks like the room also does have a fridge as well, which is a very nice touch. We actually have a really cool thermostat I'm noticing. Um, it's like touch, touch pad, but it's really easy to adjust the temperature. Really, really modern. I really, really appreciate that about the room. So, so far, I'm really impressed. It's gonna be a great night's sleep. I love the view. And uh, as Titanium Leap, they just went ahead and gave us the 4 p.m. checkout for tomorrow, which was very, very kind of them at check-in. We're only here for one night. This is hotel one out of six. We've still got five more hotels to go. Definitely setting a really, really high standard. I am here at the fitness center of the JW Marriott Dubai. It's really, really awesome. I just did about 10 kilometers on the treadmill and that was my beautiful view right out the window there. Absolutely beautiful. A really nice fitness center, really roomy. Uh, they even have a check-in desk right behind me. Uh, they have towels, complimentary water, um, everything you'll need to work out. Okay, now for the review of the JW Marriott Dubai. This place is absolutely phenomenal. Let's go ahead and start with the room. Room was very clean, spacious, huge. We're gonna go ahead and give it a five out of five on room. Next up, we're gonna talk about inspiration. Inspiration is gonna get a 4.5 out of five. The hotel is incredibly inspiring. The only reason for the little half point off there is simply because the rooms in the hotel is a little bit on the older side. It's not nothing super, super extreme blow my mind, but it is, don't get me wrong, it is still extremely nice, extremely luxurious. Next up, we're gonna talk about the service, definitely a five out of five. Everyone here truly serves you, cares about you, especially in the club lounge, they just can't do enough for you. Everything from check-in to just service requests has been just spot on. Excellent, excellent service. And then finally, we're gonna talk about the value. How much do I personally value this property? I'm gonna give that a five out of five. I would totally come back here again someday. It is just an absolutely phenomenal hotel from the workout center to the pool. Absolutely incredible. The only small uh, thing that I didn't like was uh, the slippers in the room. They're very cheap material. Um, everything else though was great. Nice fluffy robes, uh, lots of wonderful soap, and shampoo, it's the lavender essential items. The pool was really, really nice. Fitness center had incredible views. The building itself, just the two towers of the JW is incredible with over 1,600 rooms. The club lounge may be one of the best club lounges in the world. This hotel has so much to offer. I would totally, totally come back. 